the question for this video is, what is your favorite good versus evil story? Leave a comment down below, I'm interested to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to the Anime Void, I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be giving my review of The Demon Girl Next Door. Now, I initially just automatically pre-ordered this series on Blu-ray without ever actually watching it, without even reading the description. I just saw a bunch of out-of-context clips and screenshots and was like, I need to see this. And rather than look at it online, I was like, I'm gonna own it. Screw it. I'm gonna own it. And then I read the description. And, um... To get the full effect of this, I'm going to read it straight from the box, dramatically. <clears throat> Being a teenage girl is hard. Being a teenage demon girl just plain sucks. When Yuko Yoshida wakes up one morning to discover that she sprouted horns and a tail, she learns something that her mother has been meaning to tell her. You know that battle between the light and dark that's been going on since the dawn of time? Well, Yuko's family are the bad guys. So now, Yuko has to defeat a local magical girl to win back some of her family's vanquished power so they can afford to go to the all-you-can-eat pancake restaurant. And of course, it turns out that the magical girl goes to Yuko's school. But Momo's really nice and keeps rescuing Yuko. Which is pretty embarrassing and leaves Yuko rather conflicted. But... All you can eat pancakes? Sometimes it's damned if you do and damned if you don't. When you are the demon girl next door. And yes, the series is pretty much as absurd as that description is. It's more to find a point that it's not to just go to an all-you-can-eat pancake restaurant. It's that it breaks a curse that the demon family has on their finances. They can only live on 40,000 yen a month. So getting their power back will break that curse so they can obtain more money at a singular time so that then they can go to a pancake restaurant. It's like, it's still absurd, but it makes a lot more sense when you don't just read the box and actually watch the series. But yeah, so at the end of the day, this is a fun comedy and it has an underlying of some deeper stuff going on uh, throughout the series. They just like hint at it a little bit and then it just kind of starts going a little more and more as the series goes on. And the dynamic between the two main characters, Yuko and Momo, is really funny because Yuko is so desperately trying to be a badass demon girl and get her family's curses broken. And Momo is such a badass magical girl and doesn't actually really care about fighting or anything like that, but does take a very special interest in Yuko to the point where I'm kind of like, how is this not considered a romance? But I digress on that point. The supporting cast is also very fun. Yuko's family and friends, they, they have all those weird quirks, especially with the fact that no one seems to notice well, not so much notice, but really are bothered by the fact that one day, this 15-year-old girl has horns and a tail. Everyone's just like, oh, that's cool. Anyway, I love the nonchalant nature to all these things happening. Especially since it seems like Yuko was totally out of the loop, even though a Apparently, there was a world-ending event that happened within her lifetime. Because it is said that Momo helped save the world. So, magical stuff is a common occurrence here. But when the series starts, it doesn't seem like it's a common occurrence because Yuko is so out of the loop. But after a certain point, 
even the audience gets acclimated to it and it's just like, okay, yeah, these things happen. We're fine here. This is normal for this world. They just didn't do a great job of establishing that at the beginning. But granted, it doesn't really matter. It's a goofy comedy series, not a super world-building heavy epic. Other than that, I don't really have too much to say. It's nothing grand. It's just a fun, cute-looking comedy. The art style's nice. The voice acting's very nice. There's not a lot to say here. <laughs> I recommend it, definitely. Um, I don't regret buying it without further notice. I would have definitely bought it if I had watched it beforehand. Definitely would have bought it. Possibly would have waited for a sale on that front, but would have owned it regardless, is the point I'm getting at. Anyway, with all that said, before I sign off, I want to know that if you're interested in digital art, webcomics, and some cosplay, you can check out my buddies over at creativeattribute.com. And if you fancy buying anything at the store, anything at all, use coupon code VOID for 10% off of any purchase. Link in all that stuff in the description below. And if you want to see me more of my nonsense, you should like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to miss an upload for me. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links also in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time in the void. Uh, later.